Good morning children. Today we shall learn more about 3D shapes that is three dimensional shapes. We already know this is a square whose all sides are equal. So how many sides are there? One, two, three, four. A square has four sides. And how many corners are there? We know when two straight lines meet, they make an angle and here we will call it a corner. So how many corners does a square has? It has one, two, three and four corners. So a square has four sides and four corners. What is this? This is a rectangle. Like a square it has one, two, three and four. It has four sides. And how many corners are there? One, two, three and four. Four corners are there. So a rectangle has four sides and four corners. Now this is a triangle. How many sides does a triangle has? A triangle has one, two, three sides. And how many corners? One, two and three. Three corners are there. So a triangle has three sides and three corners. What about a circle? Does it have a side or a corner? No, a circle does not have any corner or any side. We can say a circle has zero sides and zero corners. Now here we have a square sheet of paper and we know there are four sides and four corners. Can this paper have more corners and more sides? Yes, it can have it. How? Let's do it. Now we will make a fold at this corner of the square sheet of paper. See, this is folded. Now how many sides are there and how many corners? First, see how many corners are there? One, two, three, four, five. Five corners are there and how many sides? Let's see. One, two, three, four and five. So now the paper has five sides and five corners. Next, let's make another fold. So this will be the second fold at this corner. After folding, the paper looks like this. How many corners and how many sides are there? Let's count it. First, the corners. One corner, two, three, four, five and six. There are six corners. And how many sides? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five and six. Now there are six sides. So the paper has six sides and six corners. Now let's make the third fold on this side. Now how many corners and sides are there? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six and seven. 
there are seven corners how many sides one two three four five six seven seven sides are there so we see this paper has seven sides and seven corners what do we see by making a fold we are increasing the corner number and also the number of sides is increasing the same paper is there but just by folding we are getting more number of sides and corners now let's make another fold this is the fourth fold and we are doing it here at the red dotted line what do we get we get this kind of paper now can we count the corners and the sides of this paper yes let's do it 1,2,3,4,5,6,7,8 now there are 8 corners and how many sides 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 8 sides are there so this sheet of paper has 8 sides and 8 corners so now you know how to find out the number of corners and sides of different 2D shapes now we know about 3D shapes apart from length and breadth they also have the third dimension which is the depth you know even the 3D shapes have corners and they have edges and faces too let us see what they are look this is a square but what is this object this is a dice this solid shape is called a cube see from any side the cube looks the same in a cube the length width and depth all are same we get a cube from a square we can say all the surfaces of the cube are square and a cube has six surfaces as we saw the dice has six surfaces with different number of dots on each surface like one dot on one surface two on another three four five and six number of dots you know each surface of a solid shape is called a face as a cube has six surfaces we can say a cube has six faces the edges where the two faces meet so in a cube how many edges are there one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve twelve edges are there so you can say a cube has twelve edges now this is a pencil box it is one rectangular face of pencil box and length and width are different if we look at the real pencil box it has depth 2 this 3d shape is called cuboid which has different length width and depth a cuboid has rectangular faces and how many faces are there a cuboid has 1 2 3 4 5 6 confused let us see again how many faces are there first this is the face on the top side so this is face 1 next this is face 2 and this is face 3 now 
let us turn the pencil box and bring the faces which were not visible to the front see here this is the face number 4 and the bottom side the face number 5 and this is the face number 6 so a cuboid has 6 faces understood now let us see the edges so this is the edge where this face and this face meet we call it edge number 1 next this is also an edge because this face and this face meet here we call it edge number 2 next this is also an edge and which two sides or which two faces meet here this face and the bottom face which is not visible to us meet here and we call it edge number 3 next this is also an edge and this face and the face at the back which is not visible meet here let us call it edge number 4 now coming to this face this is an edge where the top face and this face meet let's call it edge number 5 this is also an edge where this face and the bottom face meet this is edge number 6 now let us turn the pencil box and bring in front the faces which were not visible till now ok now let's continue to find the edges this is again an edge we call it edge number 7 here this is another edge where these two faces meet let's call it edge number 8 again this is another edge where this face and the bottom face meet let's call it edge number 9 here this is another edge and let us call it edge number 10 this is another edge we call it edge number 11 and this is another edge we call it edge number 12 you might think this are not covered but this edge this edge and this edge we have already covered in this picture so in total there are 12 edges so now you can say a cuboid has 12 edges understood now this is a triangle can you guess a 3d shape which has a triangle think have you seen the pyramid of Egypt the base of pyramid is triangular and we can get the 3d pyramid from 2d triangle now how many faces are there in this pyramid one two three four four faces are there now let us count the faces of this pyramid since all the faces are of different colors it is easy to count the number of faces of this pyramid the pink triangle is one face the red triangle is another face the base of the pyramid is of triangular shape and it is of green color it is the third face now let us turn the pyramid and make that face visible which was hidden from our view now we see here we see another face and we call it face number 4 so we see a pyramid has 
four faces clear now coming to the edges how many edges are there in this pyramid let us see one by one this is an edge where the red face and the pink face meet we call it edge number 1 next this is another edge where the red triangle or the red face and the bottom green face meet let's call it edge number 2 and this is the third edge where the pink face and the green face meet let's call it edge number 3 now let us turn the pyramid so that the face which was not visible till now is visible to us see this is the face yellow in color and it wasn't visible till now so let's see the further edges this is an edge where the pink face and the yellow face meet let's call it edge number 4 this is another edge where the yellow face and the bottom face which is green in color meet let's call it edge number 5 now on the back side the yellow is also touching the red face so this is an edge where the yellow face and the red face behind meet let's call it edge number 6 so we see a pyramid has six edges which has four faces if you look at the bird they had from bottom it looks like a circle the shape of the bird they had is called a cone like ice cream cone how many faces are there one face is the circular base and the second is the rest of the surface so two faces and it has one edge where these two faces meet now coming to the dustbin if we look at the base of this dustbin it is circular like the base of birthday hat but the shape of birthday hat and the dustbin are not same this is a cylinder so the shape of this dustbin is cylindrical the 2d circle can be a face of cylinder too so how many faces does a cylinder have 1 2 two circular faces are there and this whole surface is one surface so in total three surfaces or you can say three faces now how many edges are there the cylinder has two circular edges where the two circular faces meet the rest of the surface now what does come in your mind when you think about circle Yes ball the round ball it is a sphere so ball has spherical shape and a sphere has no corner no edges so it has only one face the whole surface is a single surface so now you know how to get different 3d shapes using the various 2d shapes That is all for today. Bye bye children.